Hey everyone, today I'm coming to you with a review on the brand new LEGO Marvel Ghost Rider Mech and Bike Set. Now this released on January 1st, 2023. It retails for $44.99 here in Canada and $34.99 in the States. I believe it is included with 264 pieces. It is set number 76245 and it is recommended for ages 7 plus. Now this is an absolutely amazing set. We very, very rarely get Ghost Rider sets and when this one was revealed, I was honestly not that excited. I was kind of just like, oh, it just looks like this big oversized bike and I kind of just didn't think of the fact that they actually combined one of the mechs that they've been doing for around three to four years now with an actual vehicle, which is something very, very cool because I remember they used to do that with things like Hero Factory and Bionicle, and I always found that very interesting. So this is the first time we're getting an actual vehicle to go with one of the mechs, and honestly, what better way to start off than Ghost Rider? But without further ado, let's get into the review for the Ghost Rider mech and bike. So here we have the one and only minifigure included in the set being, of course, Ghost Rider. Now, this is a brand new version of Ghost Rider. The last time we got a Ghost Rider that wasn't Robbie Ray's was 2016, I believe, which was in that bridge battle wave. That was a long time ago, if so. So it is definitely time for a new version. Now, I was looking at photos of that older version. I do have it. I just don't know exactly where it is. And I have to say, the older version was a little bit better because it did have, like, fire coming through the jacket. And the face print just looked a little more menacing. This one looks a little more 4+, plus, let's say. I don't know for lack of a better term, but still, this is an amazing figure to get. If you want a Ghost Rider, you are going to be absolutely pleased with this one. He does have a chain going across the torso, which I guess doesn't really make sense if he's holding the chain, which, by the way, this is the same chain that you do use with the actual mech, so it is smaller on the mech than it is with the figure, which is definitely interesting. You would have thought they would have maybe included two separate chains, but regardless, it still works. But other than that, he just has black legs, no arm print, no leg print, and the head is one piece. The fire isn't like a hair piece or anything. This is just one piece, which I always found interesting. But regardless, that is everything with the Ghost Rider figure. Definitely an awesome inclusion, but let's get on to the builds. Now, here we have the first build being, of course, the Ghost Rider mech. Now, as you can see, I do have Ghost Rider inside there. He is sitting down, as all the minifigures do in the Marvel mechs. I do have the chain going around, which is where you are supposed to put it, but you can also put it on the hands, which is definitely useful. He is using the brand new claw pieces or finger pieces that are used with the other Marvel mechs for this year, as well as the brand new pieces for the arms. These big, kind of annoying, obnoxious orange pieces. I mean, let me not be too hard on them, but if I'm being entirely honest, I don't really like the change from what they were doing to these because this definitely does limit some of the articulation. Sure, it makes it a little more beefy, but I prefer articulation overall, and it definitely takes away from that. But other than that, you can see that the black on the sides definitely is a contrast to the orange on the inside. It kind of just makes it look like it's on fire, which, hey, it's Ghost Rider. It is. Now, the feet or the bottom of the mech. I don't know if they're feet on a mech. I don't know if that's what they are supposed to be classified as, but anyway, they do look pretty good. They are definitely very, very simple, but still get the job done. I have noticed with this mech compared to the other mechs, like the Rocket, Hulk, and Thanos one that came out this year, that this is just a little bit lighter, and I get it. It does come with an actual vehicle, but I thought that was something of note, but other than that, there really isn't too much more you can go over. You can see the clip here, which is what is going to go on the actual bike. Interesting spot, but I digress, but overall, definitely a interesting build for the Ghost Rider mech, but let's get on to the Ghost Rider bike. Now, here we have the bike of the set, and it is definitely comically big, which does make sense because it is for a mech, not a minifigure. But then again, if it was for a minifigure, we all know Lego probably wouldn't have changed the size. I really do like the inclusion of the orange wheel. It makes it look like it is on fire, and I love this build. It looks like a Harley Davidson there. You can see an awesome print there. I love that Marvel is using more and more prints. The handlebars are absolutely huge. I do have to say, I'm not the hugest fan of this Technic section. The blue is kind of an eyesore. And all things considered, I know that's just not the biggest deal, but it is fairly shaky. And it is a bike. It's fine. It's 
I guess that's a little bit of suspension, but that's just a piece bending where it probably shouldn't. Now, the middle section of the bike kind of has all the stuff that you would expect on a Lego build for a bike, but it does look very, very nice regardless. And you do have flames on the back, which look great. Here you have this awesome gray round section, which looks amazing. And going down here, the pieces they used are simple, but definitely effective. And I love the translucent orange that they used on the actual wheels. But other than that, I do want to show you what it does do with the actual mech. Now, I did mention that this does have a clip, and that just clips onto this part on the mech, like so. And then you put the feet on the pedals. Pedals, I don't know if that's the name. I'm not too uh, knowledgeable about motorcycles. And then you just put his hands on the handlebars, which sometimes can be actually kind of hard. But once you get it on there, it looks awesome. That is such a cool build to have. I'm very, very happy to have this set. Honestly, I wasn't too, too excited when I saw it, but now that I have it, I'm very, very happy to have this build. But other than that, I don't have too much more to say. So I guess let's look at the box, the instructions, and then I will give you my final thoughts. So here we have the box and there isn't anything too special. It is kind of just that standard $25 box size, even though it is 45 in this case. I don't really like that this is just gray. There's, I mean, it does have the images, but compared to like the Spider-Man ones, those are all filled in. They could have done like some cool Ghost Rider minifig art there, but they kind of just left it empty. I guess that's not a huge deal. There you have a Ghost Rider in the corner. I love these little things on the corners with the minifigures. To me, at least, they look like how they look in the Lego Marvel and like the Star Wars games. The build on the front looks amazing. And then on the back, you can see the two builds separated along with the minifigure. You have a Ghost Rider logo there, which is very, very cool. The minifigure on the top, Marvel, some legalese, nothing really on the side. And they do have punch tabs, which I have noticed that a lot of sets recently do. And I'm not the hugest fan of that, but not the biggest deal. But let's get on to the instructions. Now, as far as the instructions go, you kind of just have that boring, new, modern cover art, which... I'm not a huge fan of. I want them to go back to the actual box art, but until then, I guess it's fine. On the back, you just have the standard piece catalog and you don't have any ads throughout the actual, oh, it's hard to open it with gloves, but there you just have the build completed on the back and no ads, which interesting. Usually they love doing that and we love seeing it, but not here. But let's get on to my final thoughts. Oh. So for my final thoughts on this Ghost Rider mech and bike set, I gotta tell you, I wanna give props to LEGO for doing this. This is definitely different from the norm. We very rarely get anything to do with Ghost Rider, and this is definitely an awesome way to get the character and the minifigure back into the line. And just overall, it's something so different and unique for not only the Marvel line, but just Lego overall. When do we get a mech with like a bike? We we probably get those, you know, one every two, three years, but come on, this is just awesome, especially when it is Ghost Rider themed, the most ideal and perfect character for something like this. But even though it is a great set, it is very pricey at $45 retail here in Canada and even $35 in the States is definitely pushing it. So if you can get this set for, I'd say $10 off, then I would buy it. It is a great, great set, and I don't think you want to miss out on it, but I would definitely, if I were you, miss out on it at that price. So until you can get it at a better price, I would just hold the brakes on it, but overall, I really, really do like this set. So as a set and keeping the price in mind, I think I'm going to have to give this a 8 out of 10, but let me know what you think of this set in the comments below. As always, I will try my best to respond, but thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And until my next video, I have been Jagger Collector, and he has been Ghost Rider, and I will see you tomorrow. No, 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 no. Almost fell off there. Whoa, oh my gosh, it's all going wrong. Bye, guys.